Hi and welcome to this Fusion 360 tutorial. Today we're going to look at the drafting parting line feature in Fusion 360. If you like a copy of the final model, check in the link in the description below and we'll jump straight into Fusion. So what we're going to look at now is adding a draft angle okay, using a parting line which is a bit more advanced. So what we've got here, if we have a quick look, is we've got this design where we've, if we look from this angle here, we've got these drafted edges or angles on this design. And of course we've got additional okay, uh, webs, ribs and so on. But the thing we're going to learn in this video is how to add these angles okay, on here. So if we go back in time, what we've got is a simple okay, extrude, a cuboid. And what I've created on the side if we just okay bring this forward what we've got there is a sketch if we have a look so I've sketched on that surface this spline okay so I've clicked on the surface added a spline it doesn't have to be a spline it could even be a straight line a line that comes across here and then goes off at an angle it all depends on how you want to create your draft angle so we're going to use this to basically create a draft at the top and the bottom Okay, as you can see here. So, if we click undo, and we go up to draft, this time, rather than the fixed face, we're going to use a parting line. The pull direction, we're gonna use this top surface again. The parting tool is gonna to be my sketch. Okay, faces, it's gonna be this face here. And if I just, Go to this angle here, you can see what's going to happen. So, what we've got in the moment is we've chosen a direction. The tool was the sketch, okay, or, or the line or the curve or whatever you want to use, and the faces are the two faces I want to change. Now, if I drag this here, you can see what's happening, okay, it is going say 15 degrees in like that. And I, like we did before, if you click flip, it could then Okay, good, the other direction as well. But we want it to say go in, I know, say 19 degrees, there you go. And what we've got is the line type, okay, is fixed. Okay, we want it to be fixed along that um, parting line. Now, if rather than just doing a one-sided as we've done before, if we click two-sided, that will now give me the option of changing the angle below my curve. And this can be independent from the one at the top. So I could do this, say, 5 degrees. Okay, and the top one is obviously 19 degrees. So that's two-sided. If I now go into symmetric, okay, it's now, if I change this here, okay, it is basically creating a 9-degree draft angle above and below my, okay, sketch that I curve that, uh, created there, or that curve I created, okay? So just to go through that again, all right? I've selected the pull direction of the top surface. Of course, I could flip that if I wanted to. The parting line is my sketch that I created. The faces, I've clicked the two faces I want to base it, or that face I want to create the draft on. And then coming to change my angle, and if I wanted one-sided, okay, it would change the one side there. If I then want to go two-sided, okay, I can change the bot bottom and top independently from each other. And if I then go symmetric, okay, I can then, okay, do that symmetrical about that sketch. And then click OK and save that. So if I go forward to have a look at what I did last time, you can see here, I've now created okay, that draft angle from that curve, okay, top and bottom. And what's quite clever is rather than trying to do that on the other side, you can use the mirror feature okay, to mirror that across. And if I just hide the sketch, you can see what I've gone from, from you know, creating from that cuboid, okay by creating the draft angles, okay, along a parting line and then copying that onto the other side. And then you can obviously, depending on what your design is, you can start shelling it out, splitting it and add extra features, 
until you've got whatever you want to achieve in terms of your design. So that's how you add okay, a draft angle on a face using a part in line or sketch. Thanks for watching and if you found this content helpful please click like and subscribe and also check out any other resources and videos created using the links in the description. I'll see you on the next one.